What's up guys, it's our produce gamer here and welcome back to the Mafia 3 Let's Play series. Uh, we are about to go and talk to Donovan with a hot rubber and cold blood. So I have no idea what this is going to be, but I'm pretty sure we are going to be infiltrating the lieutenants of the area. So let's have a little chat with him. Let's wait for him and see what he's got to say. There he is. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid, most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. The Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we got to force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. All right. Auto theft. Talk to Gina Kowalas Kowalaski. Gina's car thief working in a world dominated by. What the hell is that? Misogynistic assholes. <laughs> but she knows she stands to benefit by helping you. <clears throat> What's this one? Talk to Pablo Duarte. They are very personal reasons Pablo's chosen to help you, and they begin and end with Fidel Castro. Mm. So it's the same, same thing again, then, isn't it? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go there, make some damage, uh, draw out the guy, and he's obviously the lieutenant as well. So let's go and have a talk with Gino. Hey, I'll set that as my mission. There we go. Frank Pagani, a loyal lieutenant, Frank Pagani is always a capo, always at capo, Tommy Marcano's beck and call, and he's willing to do whatever Tommy asks of him. Frank's only concern is keeping his claws in Tick 4 Harbour. Eliminating Frank will undoubtedly reveal intel that you can use against Tommy Marcano. Ah, okay. <coughs> Let's have a look at the kill list. So there we go, so there is three left, so there's Frank Pagini, Pagani, and then obviously that will give us intel, and I'm guessing that's Tommy Marcano, and I'm guessing they're his son, so one of them will be Georgie. Uh, so that's interesting, so I'm guessing that one there will give us intel on there, and that one there. So we will in turn unlock those as well. Fucking hell, no way through there. Right, let's go and have a word. Whoa, look at that car. Taking that bad boy. That's for sure. Hey, over here. Hello. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in a cell upstate around Easton. Oh. Sorry. 
You shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the Vessel gas station around the way. Without some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here. But knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. These boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk. See you around, Gina. <clears throat> right. Junior's runners bring chopped up cars to drop points of antique for, take them out, and end his supply of new rides. Okay. So basically, how it works in this game is. Each of the lieutenants have got two people below them. Uh, so basically they're like kind of enforcers, aren't they? Uh, they're enforcers anyway. So Pagani has got two people working for him. And obviously they're his businesses. So if we take both of them guys out and their businesses and all the enforcers and people around him, Pagani will come back from... Uh, I can't remember where he was. From, well, from Cuba. And basically... We'll fuck him up. So. So there's only one. Ah, there's one up there as well. Destroy boosted car shipment. Junior selling a large number of stolen high-end automobiles to a foreign investor. Okay, let's head there then first. And we'll see. Yeah, let's go there. Oh, fuck it out. Wrong button. Might as well run over there, look. Because we're going to end up stealing the car anyway. Oh, there's a ramp there. Maybe we can use that to a quick getaway. Holy shit. What? We ought to check that out. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go, this is better. We've got to destroy all of them though, why can't I just take him? Okay, destroy boosted car equipment. Okay, that, that doesn't work. So... Got no other way of getting in there though, have I? To be fair, there's not an, a lot of guys, but I'm pretty sure there was a sentry somewhere. This guy's coming up the side. No sign of nobody. Better be careful, boy. Oh, snap. Fuck you up. What the hell is happening with the boxes at the back over there? You know what? I'm just gonna fucking take this dude out. What the hell? Did I not heard that? You gotta be kidding me. Fucking have a grenade, son. Oh yeah. I will find you, boy. Let's look. You ain't finding shit. I got no move here. Fuck. Oh. We're clearing your operation, eight boys. Bloody hell! That was a lot of money there. Right. Yes. Oh my god, look at the money, look at the damage done from this. See you later. Oh man, there's only three thousand. 
Wait, is that all done? Oh my god, there's only 4,700 left. That's actually crazy, man. We just wiped out loads. Mind you, though, <laughs> like I say, there's loads of cars there. Surely we'll one more hit and we will be good, man. Right, let's go and take out Junior Wayne Roussel. No, oh, we should have stolen one of them bastards. No, I ain't got a car. So hopefully we can jump over this fence over it. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, bastard. Need your car, mate. Oh, man, maybe not. I'll take your car then. Please don't call the police. Yeah. I like to see. <laughs> oh shit. There we go then. He's inside this little warehouse, is he? Mm, it looks like he's round the back, actually. Let's have a little wonder. Let's just have a look. Okay, there's someone up there on the roof, so... Oh, it's such a shame we ain't got nowhere. Tell you what we'll do. We'll chuck this there. And then we'll swap to that. Whatever that was, it's gotta be close. And let's just see how many of them come over. Pretty sure this voodoo doll is making this racket. Booyah! Here we go. Look, look, over here. I think I set him on fire as well. Get his leg. Yeah. Oh, took that sentry out. Come on, son, pop out, pop out. Hit shot. Got your base. No, I don't think these are going to be uh, be enough, are they? To Oh, that shit, man. There's not enough there to... Oh. Oh, 450 left. Someone's taking their piss. Okay. Well, we may as well go and hit the remaining one down here, then. Who is this one, then? What's it say about him? Uh, Brand's a wannabe race car driver, Junior. Junior brought in after catching Brand trying to boost one of his rides. Best shot to take him out will be finding some high ground. Okay. Could have picked that sniper up actually, but. He's not that far away, is he? So. Well, we can't boost the car because that bloody cop is right there, so. <coughs> Carry on round. Don't even want your car, mate. I'd rather walk. Oh, there's another copper there. I will take this, dudes. Yo, oh, 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 oh. Don't call the cops. Oh, shit. There's a cop right there. Ooh. That was close. 
I think that's why I just stole the car from <laughs> He's running away. Okay, let's go in there. Uh, let's go and take down this guy. And then surely it will bring out. Who's, who are we trying to get out of this one? Can't quite remember who it was now. Right, well it says we need some high ground and I can see why. Oh, that looks interesting all the way over there, look. Oh, I bet you can't go up there, though. Nah, I didn't think you would be able to. We playing poker tonight. That's the plan. Even got Carla to go to her mom's for the night. Can we climb up these? Oh, come on. Should just be a distraction. You know what? Screw the high ground because we're gonna go in anyway. And he's only there, so let's just take a Molotov and a shot to him. There we go. Done. Shit. No, you prick, you're not calling any cops. You man. Right, let's get out of here. Going towards to Gina now. Gina's caught word that you've raised Junie's attention. Yes, we have. And why it says the best way is to, to find some high ground because there is no high ground at all. Otherwise, we can't even get to it. That's my car as well. Awesome. Tell you what, though, I've got 10,000 in my wallet, so before we meet anyone else, we're going to need to uh, deposit that if we can. So handy having that call out though. Well, fuck going back to your safe house every time you need to deposit a little bit of cash. It'll take ages. Whoa! I think I've just escaped. Oh, that was close. Didn't get out of the car, man. I thought he'd get out of the car and I could just run him over, but he just stayed in there. Young is looking pretty fuck now, isn't he? Yes, he is. They're all done anyway. You got that little speed freak junior stayed up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> An old friend with an E out at the best oil. Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. That, and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. <laughs> See you later, Gina. Right, let's go and confront this little bitch. Tell you what, though, before we go, we will get this concierge out and get the arms dealer. Where do you go? Everything you see is for Let me see what you got. 
crazy bastard. Right let's refill the ammo. Uh, what, we, what else we got? I think there's not much else we can buy really. I don't really want to waste money on these. Yeah, I don't really... That's pretty good, but the capacity is quite low, isn't it? Mind you, it's the same as that one. That's ah, just ten percent lower than the other one, so you know what, we're not gonna buy anything else really, are we? So screw it. I've got the Viper. We'll go and try that out. I'll get this is done. You know how to find it. Cheers, dude. And now we're gonna steal this car that's in here. Well, not steal it. Technically, I'm working for her anyway, so while well, working with her. Here we go. Oh, this is a quick car. You can already tell. Well, look at the acceleration we're already up to 105, 120. Oh, yeah. Feel the power. Okay, where is this little bitch? You know, I'm wondering if I can actually get a pop shot off him. Oh, nah, he's down. Looks like he's down at the front somewhere, doesn't it? Okay. The only way... Oh! Shit! No! Reinforcements are coming. This is going to be hard. If you bleed red, I need some more ammo. You know what? Fuck this, man. Let's call the hit squad. The Let's do it. Get some guns on these assholes. Gonna take this dude down, come on boys. Get out of here. He's over here. That's the shit right there. Oh, He's in there. That's him. Let's go. Shit. That shit's all him. Let's go. This is the way. Whoa. Die. I thought he was one of theirs. No! Fuck you. You prick. Fucking bell end. <sighs> so annoying. He was right there and I tried to grab him then and it like. I don't know what happened. I think it was getting shot from the other guy. They must have took out, they must have took out my guys because, yeah, I must have just fucking took them out. Not too sure I like that Viper though, because 
you know, when you when you're so close to it, what are you gonna do? It's fuck all you can do, man. Right, tell you what, let's call these in. I'm in tick four. Need some fuckers, guys. Great. Right. Of course, it's been there too. <clears throat> Oh yeah, Let's fuck them two off. You're gonna be coming out of that door. Yes, you are. Shit, I need some ammo. I'm gonna get rid of this. Come on, man, where are you? I need it. Fucking pick some weird places to park, man. Yeah, I need to get rid of that rifle. Cause it's shit. See, and I spent all that money. Call me if you need me. And what's the point? I'm happy with the weapon that I've, the weapons that I've got. The rifles. I don't know why I just didn't keep them. Fuck. We getting shot up. Get down here. Oh, you. Oh, three thousand there. None of us are bulletproof, dipshit. <laughs> Devil got you now, motherfucker. Here come the reinforcements. Oh, I'm gonna get that. Shit. Come on, boys. You off. God, I think they've took out all my guys, man. Fuck you, you got a pistol, you prick. Oh, fuck, I've got no health. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call him. Get some guns on these assholes. Literally okay. got no help. Fucking hell. You bell and pop up, man. Come on, boys, take care of him. Paid you three thousand. Oh, you are shit. mine. Mind this time, boy. <clears throat> where those big balls now, Junior? Oh, where those big balls, sir? Awesome. Rackets and loyalty. Each underboss, underboss <laughs> wants to improve their own. So they'll offer you favors like weapons, markers, vehicle upgrades, and services through their associates. Plus, assigning an underboss or racket will increase their loyalty to you. Ooh, okay, so this is it's where it gets interesting because I can assign to each one of these. So, before making your decision, view possible favours and upgrades from your underboss by pressing left or right using the left stick. View past upgrades and favours by pressing square. Okay, so we'll take it up to 14 pounds, so increased ammo capacity, which would be very nice, and that's Cassandra. Um, also, less control than either pistol. It's still an excellent option for silent, a high rate of fire, silenced M1 N8. Uh, Matteson, pistol silenced. Uh, Betty can get you enemy locations and she'll pick up kickback for you. Well, that's not bad. Um, ah, oh, fucking hell, I don't know, man. Silence Deacon. A bishop will provide the arms dealer with explosives. I've already got explosives, though. 
Maybe that's a sequel. I don't really like I don't really like that his way, so I'm gonna leave him off, I think. Uh but I'm I am liking the uh, Cassandra's one. Yeah, let's give it to Cassandra. I've always liked her more, to be honest, so <clears throat> If we're gonna hold Tickfall Harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. Yeah, okay. But if you asking me to commit the lives of my men here, then I expect you to commit to me. And remember this road was setting out on in the here and now. So what does that mean? She wants more of him as well. Anyone who thinks Sammy Robinson was the Mardi Gras mastermind is a moron. Just because he was involved doesn't mean it was his idea. And none of the evidence ever added up. The money wasn't recovered, and Sammy didn't shoot himself in the back of the head and then burn down his own bar. The only reason people believe Sammy was behind it was his skin color. Look over there. One of those cars has one of them fancy 8-track tape players in it. <laughs> Ooh, kill Frank Pagini. Kill Frank Pagini set up. Frank Pagini heads up Marcano's primary import export operation. Eliminate him or server sells last toys to Cuba. So we don't even have to go over here then, do we or not? Well, maybe that's someone else then. That's interesting. Um, so let's have a look at the kill list then. See, so yes, that's Frank Beginny, but I thought he would. I thought it would take both of them to bring him out. Uh, the very person who is probably true, and they begin to end with Fidel Castro. So that's Fidel Castro, so I'm not too sure who that is, but tell you what, let's go over there then and have a word with um. Carry more ammo for firearms, right? Let's call Only the, the four. arms dealer out. out of everything. <clears throat> need some health, need some adrenaline, need some to? cocktails as well. Refill the ammo, let's get some free relations with Burke. Uh, let's get some couple of cocktails in. Uh, no, no, no. Get four of them as well. Why hasn't it come up? Why hasn't it shown up with it? Ooh, that's interesting. 10,000 to carry more adrenaline shots. That'd be pretty cool. Carry one more adrenaline shot, 18,000. Use it in good health. Oh, Use shit. I was going to buy some more there. <clears throat> okay. Well, we're not that far from him, are we? So, might as well just have a little jog over there. Well, it's if we fucking can. Ooh, and he just. Let's see what he's got for us. I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're going to hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean it's gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You got to get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed. What about me? Huh? Down here busting my ass and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you. I take care of you and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. 
I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs> Okay, interesting. So it isn't actually going to kill him yet. We've got to get to the Tanger and plant that. Um, well, plant the basically the chip onto his car, and then we can follow in him. Eliminating him will sever Sal's last ties to Cuba. Frank Pagini heads up Marcano's primary import export operation. So basically, once we've fitted that, we've got to wait. And then we can take down the rest of his operations, which is the smuggling operations in Tip 4 Harbour. So basically, only one guy ever runs all the operations in one certain area. So once we've taken uh, that one down, it's all out and Frank is just going to become completely pissed. And then we will take him down. So I hope you can join me for that one on the next episode. I'm going to take a little break now. And then we'll come back and we will finish off getting to Frank Baghini. Cheers, guys. See you soon.